Now that ColdFusion Builder is up and running and that the ColdFusion server has been configured on port 8600, it is time to deploy the sites that we will work with and we will deploy them inside of our ColdFusion server. To do so, we will have to move or to copy the files that we need inside of the web root of ColdFusion. Now remember from the previous video that the web root is this folder, the www root folder. Now to copy those files here, I will open a new window of the finder. To do so, I use the command N shortcut here on my Mac and I go where my files are located. Now to do the same thing on Windows, you will use Ctrl N to open a new window of Windows Explorer and you will also navigate to the location where you saved the exercise of this course. Now inside of these exercises, I will take the final and the CF training folders, and I will move them inside of the web root of ColdFusion. Now, to be exact, I won't actually move them. I will copy them. And here on the Mac, to copy them, I will add the Alt key. And you see that by pressing the Alt key, there is a little plus coming next to the mouse cursor. So when I release the, the mouse button, I will actually copy the folders and not move them. You see that I have the original folders here and I have made a copy here in the web root of ColdFusion. To do the same thing on, uh, on Windows, you will do the exact same procedure. You will move, you will drag and drop your files and you will use the control key and not the Alt key like uh, I used here on the Mac to copy the files and not move them. Now that the files are in place, I can close here the Finder and I go back to my web browser. To browse the files that we have copied inside of the web root of ColdFusion, we just have to type the name of the server. And remember, it's localhost by default. Now, remember also that ColdFusion listens to port 8600, which is not the default port for a web server, so we need to specify the port number, 8600. And now we add slash final, so we can see the website that is contained into the final folder that we just copied in the web root of ColdFusion. Now, I validate this, and you see that I do access the site, but I have an error. Now, don't worry, this is expected. It says data source HD Street Final could not be found. Now, a data source is how ColdFusion connects to the database. Now, of course, we will go back to that concept later in the course. We will learn how to create those data sources. But to make things uh, simple here, I have created a special file that will uh, configure the data source for us. Now, to access that special file, you will just type here setup.cfm after uh, final and validate that new address and you will provide the ColdFusion administrator password and that is the password that you have chosen during the installation of ColdFusion. There we go. And then you click on configure and after a short while you will see setup is complete. Now if setup is uh, complete you will remove the setup.cfm from the address and we turn to the final folder. And now you can access the homepage of the HD Street Band. And you see that it looks pretty much the same as the site that we have, uh, that we have visited together earlier in the course. Now in the next video, we will tour that version of the site, the final version of the site, and we will try to see how different it is from the static version of the site that we have explored together earlier in this course.